broken up. We broke up. Kind of. But I wouldn't go to the extent of calling it a breakup because that entails cracking and smashing and shattering. When people break up, they crumble so quickly like my grandmother's almond cookies. Except that's a bad analogy because breakups are never that sweet. Um. The point is the pieces you're left with create such a chaotic mess that you never find yourself quite whole again. And maybe you do eventually manage to pull your shit together, but you never forget the taste of almond cookies. Mm. We were never a porcelain piece of china. We were never fragile or delicate or beautiful. There's nothing ethereal about our existence. We were just a chopped up rubber band at the bottom drawer of lost things. Lucky if you ever found anything beyond toothpaste caps and garbage sticks. We were in circles and circles and circles, 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 circles. It all felt so definite and indefinite, both finite and infinite. And as much as I tried convincing myself that I was in love with you, that's just not the truth. I was stuck in a roundabout, and I didn't take note of my exit until I realized how little love I ever had for you. And when you first take note of your escape, all the reasons to leave him felt like a hundred feet waves crashing onto the beach town by the shore. I hate the way you change my preset radio stations in the car, or, or when you would tell me a joke and I would laugh out of kindness, but you took this as encouragement and told the same joke to every party guest who, too, laughed out of kindness. Your tongue felt like sandpaper, and just because I laughed after telling you to stop tickling me doesn't mean you can continue to tickle me. And whenever you would rent a movie from the grocery store, you always thought it was okay to talk all throughout the film just because you were in my living room rather than the theater. So I kissed you. Not because I liked kissing you, but because I knew it would shut you off. <laughs> little did I realize that leaving and being reminded of all the reasons to stay. But I already knew far too well that at first glance, circle seems celestial. But that's the lie your gods told the angels when they weighed them down with golden rings to this broken earth, hoping that their crowns were made so heavy they forgot they had wings. And it worked because Michael and Gabriel kept sending messages to those who suffered the burdens life brought, despite the fact that they had the entire universe to explore. More often than not, it felt like we were Michael and Gabriel. Maybe we knew more than they did because we sought stars rather than singing broken hymns, so instead of breaking, we snapped. Because you pinpointed yourself onto a ghost town on a map, and I kept running within the circumference this rubber band allowed, and each time I stopped, it's got to back. This time I never stopped. The distance between us grew further and further and further because you found Orion while I searched for Pegasus. This rubber band of ours couldn't bear the tension of being pulled a different direction. Mm -hmm.